it's been well received by the audience how does it feel it feel i think uh, trailer is the first communication uh, in the business of cinema and uh, it it communicates what the film is about and when uh, the trailer is received so well uh, i think it's extremely heartening for the filmmakers because they can expect uh, you know more a uh, pair of eyes uh, into the theaters okay you both have worked together earlier how different uh, how different it was working for the gazi attack different in screenplay was different the story was different the setup was different we remained the same <laughs> <laughs> okay and what do you want to say about it uh i think uh, the earlier film that we uh, worked on was a comedy called charlie's chorasi and uh, it depicted something completely different and it 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 was a different kind of entertainment and uh, naturally actors approach uh, you know their characters and their stories uh, according to the characters and the story so this was a different as kk said was a different story and a different character so we approached it differently Oh, okay you have completed almost 20 years in the industry with stupendous roles to remember uh, how does it feel today i am feeling uh, very old because everyone is mentioning that i am here for 20 years uh, so oh, that is one thing what i am feeling but i think uh, when i set out uh, from solapur i films were never uh, you know on my agenda but uh, i just set out to act and i'm still acting for last 15 years in films so i'm happy about it really happy okay share experience working for the gazi uh, was it challenging emotionally as well as physically uh, it was interesting uh, challenging is for those those who don't have the caliber we i think we have it so uh, we we either we decide on things based on whether it's interesting or uninteresting so for me um it was an ex- interesting journey uh, just to understand uh, the trials and tribulations of all these people the soldiers who were there in, uh, in in the submarine the way they lived the way they must have um conducted themselves over a period of so many days in that little space with the constant threat of the enemy having a, a superior mach- machinery and superior submarine with them is quite a task so i think uh, our respect for our soldiers grew uh, many many fold did you feel patriotic or some sort of feelings uh, while shooting the, for the uh, film yeah when i saw the film ultimately mm-hmm. uh, we all felt very patriotic um see it's a different experience uh, while shooting for a film we are absolute thorough professionals so it's possible that i'm playing an, a non patriotic role then what do i do <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so it's not nothing to do with our personal feelings and emotions uh, we inherently are patriotic any which way it's just that uh, when you see a film and you you know that you are a part of a film like this even if you are not the patriotic kinds in the film you will still feel patriotic so uh, when we saw the film ultimately uh, each one of us uh, felt very proud of being associated with a film like this at the same time um, paying a tribute to our soul soldiers who are, are completely unsung um how was your experience working with late om puri sir uh um, Ompuri uh, sir mm, his work speaks for himself i mean he is he is how was your experience uh, you can't term it as, as experience it's a lifetime uh, his experience is we have at least we actors uh, have been experiencing him through his work throughout our lives he's been one of the sources of inspiration for people like us so uh, he was a big big uh, very big actor Uh, though not given his due in his lifetime but i think he was a colossal uh, figure as far as acting is concerned and you sir i did not have a scene with him in this film uh, yeah um how was your experience working with the director sankalp is uh, an engineer uh, basically by profession and uh, this is his first film he when he wrote the script he built an entire submarine in his garage uh, uh, to the scale uh, and uh, that is how uh, i mean well he knows uh, submarine and the technicalities of the film that he is making 
and i think it is extremely heartening uh, that such young filmmakers are coming and they are making such unconventional films and there are now producers and presenters who are there to support uh, you know uh, these kind of films so i think that sankalp is an example of uh, the young directors who want to tell the story that they want to tell Yes, same editor because i think um, uh, here is a young man who was so immersed in his work that everything about the submarine everything about the command chain system etc etc he was so thorough about it that we didn't have to do much of work we just had to uh, look at him uh, for uh, whatever is um, there in the rule book etc etc so he was a completely thorough so for us that aspect of research was uh, only sankal and we used to just approach him for whatever research material that we required rest the drama aspect we used to all work it out together uh, so it, the job became much easier because of a director like sankal there films like dangal or, or rajkumar hirani's film these are films which which give you examples of the fact that you can make a lot of money by content content is not poison you people have given more business to dangal than any other any other film in the recent past why is it so you can't say that oh audiences don't want that no it's not possible because amir khan has shown the way raju hirani has shown the way that in mainstream cinema you can have content and yet make a piece of cinema and yet have the business to it and make lots of money so i don't know why people are not following that track because uh, nowhere has it shown that oh people are rejecting these films no they are loving it tell us about your future projects um i'm doing a film called vodka diaries after this and that's about it yeah uh, and you atul sir i am doing a film called pranam uh, with rajiv khandelwal and another film called wash with uh, siddharth my rang de basanti costa okay thank you so much thank you. Thank you. okay so can you do that uh, of the film has been well received by the audience how does it feel a very satisfying first because obviously we set out to do something new and unique and interesting and and we did it for the people who like it and we are very very happy with the response absolutely same here when uh, your experimentation or your hard work is uh, appreciated and approved by the audience it feels nice so who will say that so did you expect her not to feel happy about yeah, it yeah <laughs> obviously yeah. yeah so they say i have been happy so yeah as simple as that and i have not reached a position where i can say okay you make a film for me or you make a film for me. so i just choose from whatever options i get i just choose from the best out of that uh rana uh, you were shooting for bahubali and the gazi attack at the same time right. was That's it challenging to move from one role to another oh, it is it is a little bit because both are very character specific uh, bahubali is a film it's a war film it's a it's a medieval war film where i play warlord and i kill bison with my bare hands and things like that so i need to look the part and this is obviously a, a It's, it's it's based off a true event though it's a fictional tale in its form the characters are real the they at least want to be you want to make the audience feel that most of this actually actually happened and uh, so there's a brief of how a submariner is how a naval officer is there's a sense of discipline there's a sense of i mean if it's a body it's it's a sense of being more agile more athletic in form so which is what i did for this film so yes but the bigger problem was to get back to bahubali i had to put that all back on so that was a problem Tapsi, you have a small part in the trailer. Not much been has been revealed. Can you share about your role in the film? So I play uh, my character's name is Ananya. I play a Bangladeshi refugee. So this incident, when it happened in 1971, is the same year Bangladesh was formed. From East Pakistan, it became Bangladesh. So that's why my character, like we we try to incorporate that fact also in the film. And my so hence my character is from that part of the world, that part of the land. and uh, she is a refugee so she has seen her family uh, getting killed in front of her own eyes so the, the only thing she is left with is herself and she wants to really live and it's not like she's given up on life so she sa- she saves herself out of it and runs away and uh, she happens to come across this ac- big accident and these uh, naval officers save her from that and get her into the submarine so you'll see me doing that So as Ananya, physically and emotionally, how challenging the role was. See, physically, uh, not that much, frankly speaking, because uh, I was in, inside the submarine most of the time, just seeing whatever is happening or just being a part of the whole drama that was happening inside the submarine. But uh, mentally, little bit, because uh, see, this, this character has seen so much happen in front of her eyes, uh, but still she has not given up on life. You have to be really strong from inside. You might just look that you've. 
you, you, you just lost everything from outside but inside the, you, you're extremely strong that's why you can probably still stay alive and be there in spite of losing everything in your life we have worked together we've been like uh, funnily we both started in telugu but never got to work in telugu together so this is the the film that we have uh, we are doing in telugu and hindi as well so uh, nice to be working on the set with him because i've known him as a person now i know him as an actor is also after this film working with him uh, after i would like to really do a full fledged film with him where i can like work with him for a more number of days but i really look forward to it uh, with the kind of track record we have had together with, with both the films that we have done before i think we are again going to nail it indeed indeed rana is such a serious actor even behind the cameras or does he play pranks or fun he is anything but serious behind the camera <laughs> yeah let me tell you that <laughs> How different it was working with Tapsi for this time, like in Gazi. Well, see, obviously, when you work with just putting her aside as a human, I mean, if you just look at her as an actor, she's a very fine actor. She's somebody who has evolved very, very beautifully over time, and uh, it always adds a lot to the film, lots to all of us, and uh, and this kind of support that a fine actor like her does accentuates what the scene is completely. So, what are your future plans, like after the Gazi? What are your future plans? Well, my future plans in, in life. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Obviously, the life. Okay. That, that's a part of your life. Your future projects. Right? Well, I have I have a film called Bahubali that comes two months after Gazi does, and and yeah, I have a bunch more coming in this year. We have lots of films coming coming up, so I'll talk about it as and when. Uh, yeah, so every time it's in Hindi, I'll keep coming back here and talking to you, <laughs> and she'll be here talking to you all the time. Yes, for all my films. Uh, Rana, if audience will audience will get the. answer that katappa ne bahubali ko kyun mara in bahubali 2 that's the whole reason we made this film <laughs> uh, so that it's the conclusion it's the answer yes they will okay so the final question uh, tapsi there's a matrimonial site shaadi.com which has filed a case against your running shaadi.com to change the title what's your take is done the case is sorted we have changed the name now it's running shaadi does it make a difference <laughs> i don't think so okay thank you so thank you thank much. you very much thank